Hello YouTube, this is Dakota from Bowtide Media, and we are going through the 2020 Top 10 Billboard Charts, the Dance Electronic Charts. Uh, this is now the third installment of a series that we are doing continually, so if you want to go back and look at the other ones, there'll be a playlist link somewhere in this description, but uh, yeah, so we are looking through uh, the tracks now. We are at 2020, an odd year for the world, where pretty much everything shut down, but uh, let's see what charts, what songs charted, and see how good they are, and put it in a tier list format. So first off, um, the number 10 song of the year on the dance electronic charts was uh, Lose Somebody with Kygo and One Republic. Uh, this was an odd track I found with no real drop or chorus section. Uh, it's a very vocal driven track and I commend the approach that Kygo took for a more heartfelt style track, but I just found it on the tad boring and repetitive side, uh, but um, not a bad track, just a kind of a weird, weird one. So uh, I think we're gonna put this one in C tier. We'll put this one in C for now. Uh, and then alongside that, another Kygo track, Kygo and Whitney Houston with Higher Love, uh, continuing with the big name uh, from Kygo and vocal feature, a big name vocal feature on top of a Kygo track. Uh, we had Higher Love here, um, but I would say this is one of the better Kygo tracks uh, in his discography, and that is primarily because I think it was carried by the vocal feature that was Whitney Houston, the late uh, Whitney Houston. But yeah, vocal performance here from her was fantastic, but this is kind of just your kind of standard tropical house bop track from Kygo. Uh, I would say it's a, it's a bit better than the other one, so let's put this one in uh, B tier. We'll go, we'll go in B. Then we've got Breaking Me by Topic and A7S, which was the number eight track on the year. Uh, I honestly think this was the song that put Slap House on the mainstream radar and made kind of Slap House a, a household genre, which isn't, you know, most people don't actually know Slap House, but for those of you that listen to lots of EDM that, that know Slap House, I think this is the one that really, that, made it explode the genre, but uh, in the end, it's not only the most interesting one, which kind of makes sense because it was kind of the foundational uh, thing for all the other slap house tracks to sort of copy and like, this is this is the new style and everyone go for it. It's kind of like when Good Boys had that um, other style of, I don't know, sort of slap house, just a different, different style of house. And so this was one for that. And so not horrible, but we're gonna put this one in D, I think D tier. And then we've got Ride It by Regard. Uh, Regard's breakout track uh, was a huge nothing burger uh, for me. Uh, the melody line or the synth line there was basic as hell. Uh, the vocal, for vocal performance was not engaging nor interesting in any way. Uh, I'm honestly shocked this song was as popular as it was. This one I just found to be just a suck fest, honestly, personally. So that one's gonna go straight to F tier, straight to F tier. Number six is uh, Lady Gaga uh, with Stupid Love. And I felt like this was the kind of old school Lady Gaga sound um, from back in the early days when she was really, really popular, I should say. And she's kind of come, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? It's back like her breakout kind of era. And I think that's why it was sort of as popular as it was because it felt like an old school nostalgic take um, from like the early 2010s. But that um, that chant, that brilliant kind of hook, the um, I want just to be loved, the I want just to be loved, um, was a true earworm. And I think uh, was just a great dance commercial track uh, for the year dance pop. So we're gonna put this one in B. Uh, then we've got Happier by Marshmallow and Bastille. Uh, honestly, of all the big commercial tracks from Marshmallow, I honestly like Happier. I really do. I think it's one of his better ones. Um, the Yes, the Bastille's vocal performance is a little dull and the lyrics are a little surface level, but uh, I, I honestly bopped this one. I have a lot of great memories with this one in particular, this track. And so something about it, I just, I have really personally enjoyed a lot. Uh, and so I'm gonna put this one in C. I know this may not be the best one for Marshmallow, but I personally have more uh, relation to that one, so. Uh, and then we've got uh, I L Y I Love You, um, Baby, uh, by Surf Mesa featuring Emily. Uh, like it, it was in 2021's top charts too, and it was in 2020. It first came out in 2020, and uh, or at least on the charts. And uh, man, I I never understood this track at all. I thought the vocals were horrible. I thought the beat was just a drag. Um, it's it's that kind of chill beach tropical song that was just so boring and derivative and I just didn't like it. So we're gonna put this one in E, in E tier. 
Uh, then number three uh, was, again, another one that was on 2021's list was Rain On Me, Lady Gaga and Ariana Grande. Uh, like I said before, this was a killer collaboration and like very iconic uh, dance pop track for this year and the year prior. This one lasting substantially longer than the other ones did, which I think was primarily due to the Ariana Grande um, feature on this. And so, yeah, Lady Gaga absolutely killed this year and uh, was uh, was dominant, I would say, in the charts in 2020. So. That was right on me. Uh, the number two, the penultimate track of the year on the dance charts was uh, Ritmo or Bad Boys for Life by Black Eyed Peas and J Balvin. Uh, this is just a remix of Rhythm of the Night, which is what Ritmo is. Uh, this is the rhythm of the night, the night, but just with a reggaeton beat. And honestly, this just makes me want to go listen to the original. I don't see why there's a reason for this song in particular to really exist other than to stream well. And look at that. It streamed well. Um, it's not the worst thing in the world. It's not too egregiously bad, uh, but uh, that rap verse or the rap verse uh, is, is just, that's not great um, on the back end. And the number one song of 2020 on the dance charts was the Roses and Monbeck remix originally by St. John. Uh, this is another one that I just really do not like the track. I This is personally, I have a vendetta against this one in particular. It's kind of boring feature house with super annoying vocals. I really do not like, like the vocals on this one. I just, another one that I just did not enjoy. So we will also put this one in E tier. So lots of E this year. But um, yeah, let me know what you think of these tracks. If you think this was a good tier list or what you thought of the year of 2020 as a whole. Um, how did it do in dance electronic charts? But um, yeah, other than that, I've been Dakota from Bro Media, and I'll see you guys in another video.